Are you ready to meme? Let's go! Oh, memes. Oh, memes. Memes are great. Have they been around since 2015? <laughs> and longer. Yeah. You know what? I loved uh, researching this episode because I have, like, a huge backlog <laughs> of memes that I favorited on Meme Base. Really? And I just went back and looked through every single one wow. that I saved. I did not have that luxury. That's good. <laughs> you know you have it cushy when you can call looking at memes research. <laughs> yes. That is our job. <laughs> we have arrived. Okay. I, I have laughed and I have chortled through um, researching this episode. Yeah. And these are our favorites. And real quick, as you know, we're in transition to the new TVC in set. DVR. So we don't have the TV we normally look at. Please excuse us as we use an iPad. Yes. Uh, but it'll be full screen for you. So enjoy. Okay, so this first one is um, a classic. I'll start us off here. Um, this Thanks, is one Sammy. that we've probably all seen or at least heard of. If you haven't seen the original, uh, you know you know what it is. <laughs> 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 and this is, of course, where the Danky Kang meme comes from. This unfortunate woman on Jeopardy. <laughs> Thinking that this, of course, <laughs> is Dinky King. <laughs> now, this is the most bizarre mishmash of things because not only is it um, about, you know, Sonic and Donkey Kong, but this is a, <laughs> a repurposed Bugs Bunny cartoon when Bugs Bunny was wearing blackface. Right. And it's recolored to look like Sonic. So this is just a weird mishmash of things. All right. If you have ever had trouble struggling with figuring out the who's that Pokemon puzzle, you'll identify with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love his eyes and the way he projectile spits the cereal out of his mouth. Yes. And this is a classic Rage comic. Um, yeah. Those were very popular back in the day. It's been a while since those have been popular. But really, that one uh, harkens back, harkens me back to Garfamon and the just deformities that oh, he yeah. puts the Pokemon through. <laughs> so this is another riff on that same, who's that Pokemon? Um, I find this one to be a classic. Yes. <laughs> Chuck Norris always gets his way. Yes, he always does. And if he doesn't, he gets that um, stare down. And there are a couple renditions of this one. Uh, fantastic memes of your Chuck Norris, not as popular of a meme nowadays. Memes um, of your. Uh, yes, memes of your. <laughs> Actually, dot com. one of my. <laughs> We don't know if that's a real thing. No. Um, but actually, my boss brought up Chuck Norris jokes to our fifth and sixth graders yeah. um, recently. And I thought, thought that that was quite hilarious. All the kids were like, we have no idea who that is. Well, that's what education is all about. That's exactly what it's all about, Chuck Norris. I'm not your type. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> That's so great. As I sit on a giant Game Boy Advance. And having a GameCube shirt. That's that's what makes this meme, is that yep. it's, yeah. Okay, this one is one that I have to read to you. Um, and it's, you know, there's nothing really visual about this. You okay. just have to... Story time with Simeon. Yeah, story time with Simeon. Things you should do when you kiss me. Me? Me. Push me against the wall. Or the door. Gently grab my chin and make me look into your eyes. Grab my waist and pull my body against yours. Pummel me gently. Down throw, up air, side throw plus side smash. Happy feet, wombo combo, that ain't Falco. Oh, oh, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, oh. holy cow. That's great. I found that that one was quite humorous to me. That was weird. But don't. Try and kiss me, please. You, I just clarified, and you said me, so... Yeah. Okay. Next one. <laughs> you 2DSs think you're so great, huh? But can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> now, you make fun of the 2DS as being a doorstop. Yes. So and I agree wholeheartedly with but, this one. <laughs> do you agree that it's a big deal that you can 
It'd be a clamshell. Oh yeah. Flippity flop flop. You gotta get a place. screen protector for your 2DS. Do you need that on your 3DS? No, that's oh, true. Yes, you do because you still use a uh, stylus, but less likely to get harmed by rocks and falling debris. Yeah, if you drop that thing, then it's the yeah. screen is probably toast. <laughs> so you do have a good point there. Thanks. Okay, this one um, you have to look closely um, at the caption and at the picture. Compare. And say no, 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 not the not oh, the sign. Oh, okay. the, the caption. Never too old to be a Pokemon master. <laughs> nice <laughs> See, isn't that great? <laughs> it just goes to show Pokemon at all ages. That guy probably had no idea what was going on with his hat. Yes. But every kid who saw that guy thought that he was the coolest old guy <laughs> ever. <laughs> This next one I call uh, Sun and Moon. Surprisingly, it doesn't have to do with Pokemon, though. This is what uh, Link and Mario have in common with each other. Oh, my goodness. They fear the elements. C celestial bodies. Yeah. What What is the big deal with that? I guess since they're so large, they yeah. can be foreboding. Yes. But now, since this has happened, it's made just made Nintendo fans afraid <laughs> of going outside and looking up into the oh. sky. Plan all along. Yep, they're they're trying to get us to stay inside by making us yeah. not only love what's inside but fear what's outside. That's right, I mean, ploy so uncovered. Nintendo fans right now, we're really excited. We're like, can't wait to get the Nintendo Switch so I can take it with me wherever I go in the house. Yes, in the house, bathroom, <laughs> living room, especially the bathroom, the shower. That's that's the one thing that we couldn't do with the Wii U is we couldn't go into another room because then we lose lose the connection. But now we can play the Switch. I'm gonna shower like this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Keep it above so that the water yeah. um, doesn't drip on it. So this is the Zelda timeline that you're familiar with. Okay. Um, but it's missing something. Yes. Uh -huh. You forgot <laughs> the branch after the Ocarina of Time. That was. Ocarina of Time. Go ahead and read it. Branch. Era of dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Link <laughs> defeats Ganon and discovers <laughs> hallucinogens, apparently. Scary things. Now, I, I always have wondered that. Like, what. How do you explain that in the Zelda timeline? It was all a dream. It was all a dream, hopefully. <laughs> all right, what do you get uh, after the 3DS and the 2DS, I mean? I don't know. A 1DS, <laughs> which is a lot like a gamepad. <laughs> it's one-dimensional. <laughs> there are no games because one, it's... One dual screen. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> would, it, but would it be One three DS. dual screens for the 3DS? I know, it's all bad. Yeah. It, stop trying to confuse us, Nintendo. One DS, <laughs> I guess. That's that's extremely bizarre. Yeah, the 3DS, you're right. It means 3D and it means DS, but it doesn't mean 3DS. No. 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 Um, so this one's um, a, a GIF, and it's a classic. Uh -huh. The uh, yes, <laughs> I love it. The um, exploding force of Falcon Punch. This was so well done. I never expected anything to happen to the TV. I thought you know, something will happen on the screen or something. But uh, now, when I say the two words I love, what do you think of next? The Power Glove. That's right. So. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is definitely getting the ladies. Yeah. He, uh, you know, he's going to say, I love the power glove, and then the ladies are just going to <laughs> fall at his feet and say <laughs> that they love him. Yes. Um, now, Brock has always been somewhat of a mystery. Yeah. Um, and what is underneath those eyelids? Right. Um, but this is Snorlax, who also has his eyelids closed. You know, Snorlax shoots his hyperbeams out of his eyes. Is that why his eyes are always closed? That's why Brock's eyes are always closed. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, it's a there, lot like Cyclops. there are certain things that um, point to people being Pokemon, or Pokemon being people. Especially no, in people Sun and Moon. Pokemon. Yeah. And so um, we have this hint as to maybe Brock's being. Brock's. Maybe Brock being a Snorlax. Okay. Possibly. That would explain a lot. I agree. It's his Patronus. Yes. Brand. His spirit animal. This is me. This is all me. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You now, know that feeling? Oh, my goodness. There are so many people out there that just throw those phrases out like, I'm the best. I know. And me teaching fifth and sixth graders, of course, I have to deal with this all the time. I could pwn you and, you know, Call of Duty or whatever. You brought Smash Bros. Yeah, and I completely annihilated yeah. all of those kids. I was on. So they cannot speak. I was on vacation, okay, two separate vacations. One, like this condo we stayed in, had a Wii bowling competition. It was like mm-hmm. when Wii was new, and I won. Um, my favorite memory, though, of Smash Bros, is on a cruise. Um, they had like the kids' uh, care area or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whenever you send your kids, so yeah, you so they go and have go a good drink. vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, go and have a good vacation. Right. That's what I meant. So, <laughs> um, Someone's like, oh, I'm the best at Brawl. And they had it. I'm like, bring it out. <laughs> Give me a controller. Oh, it's a Wii Remote Nunchuck? Okay, I'll live. I'll still beat you. And I totally game and watched it. <laughs> I did that thing where I'd grab and down throw and um, jab and re-grab and just the, yes. and the combo. And he's like, what is happening? <laughs> I am not the best at Smash Bros. Even with that Wii Remote uh, Nunchuck combo. That's right. Once again, an older meme style, the <laughs> Batman comic. How are your parents getting you? <laughs> <laughs> this one was easy to change because, you know, that's the classic, so you know, cool. Batman, uh, your, my parents are dead meme, but <laughs> Cubone, his parents are dead. I love how they even got, like, the Cubone and the art style of the comic, though. Yes. <laughs> All right. 3DS, <laughs> of course, or excuse me, ever since the 2DS, um, it prints money. This you is... mean DS, because 2DS Did I just is... say 2DS? Yes, you said 2DS. I'm all confused. Right? I know. And this is an animated... Yes. So of, enjoy that. Of them printing money on their DS. Yeah. Is that, now, now, now I'm really confused. What do you call it? You call it DS, but you know to distinguish it from the 3DS, you want to say 2DS, but it's not 2DS. Yeah. And you can't say 1DS, because then that would... Well... Well, I guess. DS1? Sure. But then that's close to the DSi. And the PS1. Yeah, and the PS1. So (laughs) basically, you can't have a DS anymore. (laughs) But it did print them a lot of money. It was very, very popular for them. I guess you could specify the model. Like, there's the DS Lite and then the DS Fat. Yes, that's true. Um, Another Rage comic. Here, I'll give you the gift when it starts over again. Okay. He's Gyarados is confused. <laughs> <laughs> when you see that it describing that it hurt itself in confusion, <laughs> that is everybody's face. You, you're you about to win, and then your Pokemon hits itself in confusion, which is the worst. Roughly Nintendo-related. Say that. But it's in Nintendo. <laughs> yes. Once, once you have started to use certain words yeah. long enough... Your autocorrect goes to pot. You can try and say it, and it'll, you know... Tube of ass. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not going to correct it to the right thing. It's going to completely destroy what you're trying to say. And that is extremely annoying, but also humorous. That's it for me, Simeon. Uh, but like I said, I didn't have meme base archives <laughs> to pull from. Ye old meme base archives. I have two more. Okay. Um, this one's a comic. Um, that is very relatable for anybody who grew up with the video games. <laughs> we know that our moms will call any video games Nintendos. That's right. Um, I saw an ad that was from 1990 that Nintendo put out a big full page flyer that said there is no such thing as a Nintendo. There's a Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, Nintendo Power, but there, and it was funny. We, well, the thing is, is everything is a Nintendo, and I think that that's something that Nintendo should be proud of. Yeah. Um, to leave right. you yeah. to leave, to leave you off with this one isn't specifically video game related. Okay. But it's something that video gamers say. They say, you know, cool story, bro. You know, <laughs> I I did this and stuff, and you're like, yeah, cool story, bro. Yes. Like, as if it didn't happen. Okay. And of course, this is quite relatable to anybody who has a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, honey. <laughs> Grandma's version of a cool story, bro. Grandma would always uh, tell me when she gave me money for whatever holiday. 
Don't go spend it on Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Every single time, wouldn't you? Well, I wouldn't. I'd spend it on Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. I would never. Never. Disrespect my grandmother like that and buy Pokemon cards. <laughs> oh. Well, what a fun trip down a memory, memory lane. Memory lane, yes. Oh, boy. We <laughs> looked at old Nintendo memes, new Nintendo memes. They're great. And honorable mention goes to Karen. Yes, Karen. Every, every Karen meme. We've, we've covered that. Yeah, we've already covered that. We've had a whole episode dedicated to Karen. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being a part of the crew, as always. Don't forget to leave your comments below on which of these Nintendo memes was your favorite. And enjoy this TV set while it lasts. See you next time. Signing out.